Good morning, Gustav. Thank you, Dithmo. <laughs> Good morning. You wanna do a video today? Yep, today we can do a day in my life. The rain rider is not gonna be happy with that uh, sleepy face there. <sighs> I am so sleepy in the mornings. But now it's actually not that early. It's 7.53, but we live in the Spanish time zone. So that means late dinner, late breakfast, and everything is generally quite late, so yeah. Normally I would be on the pool deck now and ready to jump in the water, but here I am in the bed instead because life is good in Spain. So what's your plan today? Today's uh, main uh, session is, is the run session and it is uh, a pretty hard one. So three times 10, four times five, five times three and five times one minute and everything is supposed to be on threshold. So we'll see how fast it is today. I don't have um, that high hopes since the last session didn't go that fast. So uh, yeah, we'll see at the treadmill. You're gonna do it inside? Yeah, for sure, because outside it's... Yeah, not very good. So you can see the track, but it's uh, icy and snowy and everything, so yeah. And you can see on the windows here, it's so much sand on the outside because of we had a sandstorm a couple of days ago, so pretty crazy. It's very controversial for triathletes to dump the net into coffee. But I still want some caffeine for before a run session, so I tell, take the gel in the morning instead of the coffee. So no espresso machine for me. So this is breakfast. I have the same basically every day because it's the same to choose every day. So uh, some butter, some cheese, and some salami. And we're staying here at the training center in Sianamala. And all the guys you see in the background are high performance athletes. So it's pretty cool to be a place where yeah, everyone you see in the hallways and everything is uh, living the same life as you. So, um, a really special place. But I'm not alone here in the training camp. I'm together with uh, Christian and Kaspar. Hello, Christian Blumfeldt here, Olympic gold medalist. Hello, Kaspar Storn is here. <laughs> what have you won? Kretz Meister's Mastership. I uh, you are the Bermuda 2018. Yeah. I won the Bermuda 2018 and had the fastest uh, bike uh, leg uh, in uh, uh, triathlon history. <laughs> yeah, that was Christian and Kasper. But this video is all about me. Gustav, yes. are you going to run with this much clothes on the treadmill? Uh, no, we changed the plans. We? I changed the plans. So now we're going for a long uphill instead. Because last session on the treadmill still sticks with me a bit. And I wanted to have high muscular impact. And I think that's better on the hill than on the treadmill here. So that's the ambition for today's session. Yeah.
Maybe it's time to introduce the real persons, not actually Cosco and Christian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're here with uh, Moa and Jonathan from yes. uh, Tönsberg in Norway. Two runners on the path to become the best. Yeah? Yeah, hope yeah. so. Tack. Ska vi sticka Johnny? Ja. Okej. Okay. Kul Michael. Jag tar en liten cykel, helvete. So the biggest biggest question today is will I keep up with Gustav? I was planning on staying inside with him besides the treadmill and now it's going to be two hour uphill cycling for me trying to keep up <laughs> he will keep up but he will struggle So yeah, 30 minutes warm up, done. I came actually 5.9 kilometers. So yeah, big chunk of the hill already done. So now I'm gonna do the three times 10 minutes and they are sub threshold. So try to stay well within the, the limits. And then from there on, we try to go exactly on the limits. But uh, yeah, it's quite challenging now because uh, it's uphill, so you're not you can't use the pace you're usually like running on a track or something. And also, it's uh, getting more and more uh, altitude and thinner air, so you need to really think about the efforts the whole way through the session, which makes it much harder, but also much more interesting. So it's uh, I mean, it's not a, like a uh, fun session in a traditional sense but it's fun in a way if it's a big challenge so yeah i'm ready i think so far we begin yeah 2.2 i was the first uh, actually running quite fast, so already up at 1,200 meters and I had 2.2 in lactate, so pretty uh, spot on for what I'm feeling. I felt like it's uh, 2.3. So yeah, one down, one hour to go in with uh, hard running. So three, two, one. All right. Allez, allez
Only 50 minutes left now. Yeah. Second one, also pretty good. When the sun goes away, it's getting cold pretty quickly. So, I think it's gonna get cold on the top, but uh, so far it's pretty nice. And I tried to drink these two bottles within the first 90 minutes and I'll take a gel for the rest. So that's uh, 160 grams of uh, carbs for the first 90 minutes of the session. Now, the hard part starts. Now we're going into altitude. So for me, under 1800, it's quite okay. But going for 1800 and upwards, then there's a sudden decrease in performance. So now, yeah, now it begins. One more five minutes to go, and then it's three minutes, and then in the end we do one minute. So. How feeling? Now, the attitude is hard. Just past 2k meters there. And we are now around 22k uphill. So, you feel fit? Yeah, but fatigued also now. But it's a good feeling to feel fatigued because you're pushing hard. It's another thing to just feel tired. So this is a good kind of feeling. And now, 
three minutes plus five times one minute. Woo. Um, two and yep. If you go like this, you're above threshold. If you stand like this, you're under threshold. Then you don't need to take a lactate. Um, two and eight. Got it up. Sam. Two and eight.
two hours uphill finishing off with just under 500 watts on the stride now for the first five, last five minutes so pretty good effort and what's really good is that the altitude didn't affect me that much now as it used to do so uh, I think when I go down to sea level again in St. George it's not going to be any limitation whatsoever on the on the lungs so everything will come from the legs and now with this session the impact was supposed to be on the legs but the legs feel pretty good so I think we are on route to do something great in St. George as well but now some clothing Now the hail came, or I don't know what it is, it's hail I think. The last three minutes, but now I'm done at the center. Nice. Do you always nap? Mm, yeah, I usually always have a nap after lunch. Today was, uh, was 30 minutes, that's all I make. But uh, yeah, usually around one hour. So I go from Training, eating, sleeping, eating, eating, or training, eating, and uh, yeah. So, not much else going on in my life. So, life as a pro is uh, both very fun and very um, much the same every single day. So, yeah. Now I'm going uh, down or indoors for a ride. Um, I think I'm going to shorten a bit down to like 90 minutes. So it's mostly just a warm up for uh, quality swim sessions. So uh, yeah, as you know, I am not the greatest swimmer. So I try to put as much energy as I can into my swims. So when I jump in the pool today, I am not tired from the cycling. I'm actually pretty ready. So I'm trying to use this um, bike session to warm up and be mentally ready for a good quality swim. So today is a uh okay big day but to put it into context how was uh, yesterday yeah today was pretty good uh, but yesterday was worse i had five hours on swift and i actually didn't stop pedaling for the five hours i had a toilet break where i ran to the toilet and had a really fast toilet break and I ran back so i think i lost 90 seconds there but yeah five hours of non-stop pedaling the whole way which i'm pretty proud of on the turbo and the rest of the day yesterday. Yeah, and then I had a terrible run outside, but the weather was so shit. And a 4k swim. So, um, 7 hours in total. Today is going to be a bit shorter, but with more intensity. And tomorrow? Tomorrow I have a rest day. So, usually we have 3 days of hard training, one easy day. But this period we are doing 4 days of uh, pretty hard and long training and one easy day. So. Uh, it's a bit tougher, usually you are not, yeah, it's really hard to train too much when you have three days with a hard one day off. But now with a four day training plan, you can actually do quite a lot of damage. So it's a bit safer to do the three one, but uh, I think I have control and that's why we're doing the four one. So this is not a bragging day for YouTube. It's a normal training day for you. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is what I'm doing. This is my life. 
I mean, the run is quite like spectacular, but it's nothing too much out of the ordinary. I just changed it from a treadmill run, which is pretty mentally challenging if you're struggling to an uphill run to make it a bit more, yeah, easily, easier mental thing because you always see the progress. You're always getting closer to the, the finish of the uphill and um, it's kind of easier to push an uphill as well. So um, in that sense, it's kind of like a bragging day because it looks awesome to push 27K uphill run. But um, other than that, it's quite a normal day, I would say. Limit your sugar, limit your performance. Oh yeah. She swim skin goes up. Looks like I'm addicted to my phone. If you're watching this and you've never been to Sierra Nevada before, this is a place in the world where you have the longest hallways in a training center. It's like five minutes to walk through all these hallways. It's insane. But everything is still kind of close together, so it's good. On the bike in the TT suit and if you wonder why I'm riding a TT suit indoors it's because it's made to be in TT position so when up here and here <clears throat> it's actually quite uncomfortable it's too tight so it it kind of reminds me that I have to stay in the air position the whole way and just looking down at the fabric I can kind of visualize myself going outside so it's an easy reminder to stay aero even though i'm not going anywhere this is your best tips for age groupers yeah buy a tt suit and ride it on an indoor training That was that. Now, for a swim. Can you see? Wow. Are you tired? I just got a message from Olav here. He said that my um, O2 cost for the one minute today was around 80, 89 milliliters per kilo per minute. So not too bad. But no, I'm not tired. I'm eating. Fourteen five. 
What was the set? A thousand, ten times hundred, a thousand, ten times hundred. And now, a thousand. And I'm thinking maybe to use hurdles and have a look at Nicole since he is, he is saying yes. So then we do pedals. You did all the hundreds in 14.5? Uh, no. <clears throat> I did it from 125 to 114 or 115. I was supposed to be 116. But uh, yeah. The first round was okay. The second round, the technique wasn't as good. So it was more stress swimming than uh, than it should be. So now, take the tempo down, use paddles, and try to get in a good flow. So, yeah. That was that. Now, for some, I guess, pasta for dinner with some chicken and tomato sauce, as it's the same dinner and lunch every single day up here. And I'm gonna be here for six weeks. So, six times seven times two. That's how much, much pasta and chicken I'm gonna eat up here. I can't take that in my head because I'm slow. It's the reason why I'm a triathlete. And tomorrow we go to the hairdresser. Du må løpe ut av din løk. Du kan palle. Du kan ut av din løk. Nei. Du kan palle. Det er jo jævlig bra. Er det gidig? Det synes som du skulle få det helt ut. Ja, det er gidig, vet du ikke. Hei, Lurie. Er det bare ikke trening i morgen? Hva da? Du kan ikke bare ut av meg. Keep it real. Keep it real. Back where the day started and ready to sleep. Tomorrow is actually a rest day, so today I'm quite late to bed. I actually really love to be up late, but uh, yeah, being a uh, a high performance sports athlete is not something I can do normally, so today I was awake for like 30 more minutes than usual, 40, 50 more minutes, and I didn't do anything, it's just nice to be <laughs> awake in the evenings, so yeah, now it's 11.30 and I'm ready to sleep, I'm gonna listen to some podcasts, never try it on podcast, it's so boring, I listen to either some news or science or talk show. Never triathlon, so yeah. That's all for today. 
That's all I have to say. Do you have anything to say, Mikal? No. no. Like and subscribe or... Like uh... and subscribe. <laughs> and yeah, we didn't clean here. But uh, this is how I live normally. I don't have it to clean. So yeah, whatever. It is what it is.